guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm inviting you into a very like high efficiency multitasking moment in my life right now as I am currently finishing curling my hair for the day, eating my breakfast here, some oatmeal, and also finishing my coffee. I am vlogging today because we have um, a lot of fun stuff going on. It is Thanksgiving weekend this weekend here in Canada. It's always been so funny to me because I feel like by the time that like you guys in the States get to Thanksgiving, we're like full blown in Christmas mode. So it's kind of nice that we have it broken up a little bit more, but it's Thanksgiving weekend here. So today is the first day of Jared's vacation for the next week. Um, he hasn't taken any time off since Vivian was born. So we're going to have some time together as a family, which is going to be really nice. And we are going up to the cottage this evening, going to the pumpkin patch today. And then next week we're going to be traveling for a little bit as well. So I'm really excited to kind of vlog this weekend and then probably do another vlog for next week with all of that fun stuff, traveling with a baby and how all of that goes. I feel like it's an interesting time to go because um, Vivian obviously doesn't just like sleep as easily in the day as she did when she was a newborn. So it's going to be uh, new challenges, but fun things for us to navigate. In case anyone is wondering, I use the Conair Infinity Pro to curl my hair. It's a super cheap curling iron that I got at Walmart, like in grade 10. This is my second one since grade 10. I'm not that young, um, but it's like 40 or $50 and it does a really great job at curling my hair. I usually just turn it up to like the second highest or the highest level to heat it up for like a few minutes and then um, curl my hair in these like sections as you're seeing me do here it's a little bit easier for me because with the texture of hair that I have I only have to hold the curl in for like 10 or 15 seconds and then the curl stays um, but this curling iron does a great job for me with that so cute I can't handle it she got her first little scratch up here and a bump on her cheek she knocked her head off of her play gym which was really sad it was like the first time I've seen her actually get hurt for the first time and it honestly made me so sad but it happens I guess mommy's got to get used to it you're out in the world now huh Ta -da! <laughs> look how cute also, this mirror is so gross right now. I apologize for that. This is like gets all sorts of nasty on it. But she is wearing a little like full piece romper from Oso oh Designs. It's a Canadian company. If I can get a coupon code for them, I'll link it um, in the description box. And I actually don't know where this head wrap is from. It was from a friend, so I'll ask her and link it down below. And then <laughs> we're taking the whole change mat with us. She's also wearing these little ribbed leggings from H&M. That was part of my fall haul for her so here is the little Vivian's look for the day it is a literal disaster in here right now because we're packing and I want to show you guys what I have packed for her but I also want to show you what I have in her play kit right now so my pro tip is just to get like a little play mat like this one and bring it with you around the house wherever you're going because it's just so much easier to um, just drop it wherever you need to have it. We don't need to play with this on. We can take this off and put it back on later. Um, and then I have this little basket here of toys that I just bring around with me wherever I go. So basically I did a little bit of research to figure out what the best toys were for this like three to four month age range. But she's got this little crinkle book up here that she really likes to play with and just like hear the different sounds that that makes. Um, again, you guys know I love these like colorful stimulation books, so I will link this down below as well. We have this like little flashcard thing that we use if we're doing pictures specifically. And then another great thing for this age is just seeing pictures of things that are like related to things they're seeing in the real world. So she really likes this. And then other things that we have in here are honestly just tissue paper from the dollar store is great. She loves this one because it's black and white, so the contrast is really great. Um, but she loves to just hold this and crinkle it and have fun with it when she's playing down on her mat. And I have a white one here as well. 
And then other things I have in here are these like mushy cups, but we haven't really been using those yet. They're just kind of in here for now. And then like teethers, rattles, she is currently teething. So I have this teether from Mushi. Um, this one that I got off of Etsy, but it's very similar to this one, just like a nice silicone teether. And then this one from her Aunt Maddie as well. It's like a little Fisher Price um, rattle teether, but she really likes this one because she loves the beads in the top and looking at them. Do you want that, honey? Yeah. And then the other things I have in here are more just like Montessori inspired toys. So I got all of these off of Etsy and I'll put a link down in the description box for them. But these like wooden Montessori style toys can be super expensive and these ones were a great price. Like they were only a couple of dollars and they're just really classic looking. Like I can use these for a bunch of different kids in the future. So we have this little classic rattle um we have this little like cylinder and ball or bell toy that she likes to hold on to great to just grab on the different edges of it <laughs> she's also found her voice recently which has been fun um this hand-to-hand -hand toy which is great from pa for passing things from like left to right in their hands and then they also just threw in this like little bunny toy for me for no cost and no reason but it was really sweet so i'm glad that we have all of these wooden toys to have for her um but basically what i'll do is not actually give her all of this stuff at once i'll give her like one thing at a time based on what she seems to be interested in and let her just kind of master that skill so we kind of when she's awake go back and forth between her just like practicing with different things and different toys and then we'll go over to tummy time we'll practice rolling and she has done um front to back and back to front now but she doesn't do it super consistently it's just really when she gets the motivation and the energy i feel like since she's learned how to use her voice that's all she's really wanted to do so we are following her lead and just introducing things as we can I have really loved having all this be super mobile though because again like I'm up and around the house in different rooms often and being able to just kind of put her down and have this basket of all of the things that she would be interested in playing with right now beside me has been a game changer so highly recommend a little like toy basket and a play mat for around the house ignore the real life mess of things behind me again we're packing so things are a little bit crazy right now but i want to show you what i have packed for vivian specifically because i feel like that would be most interesting for you guys so we're going to pack for this weekend at the cottage but then also the week that we are going to be away all at once because i don't think that there will be a time of crossover in between we're just going to go straight so one week away is the longest that I have done with her so far. And I, to be honest, I don't actually know like what things I'm going to find myself feeling like I'm not using versus what I do feel like I need to bring. But essentially I'm bringing all of like the key things that I would use in a day with her. So I'm going over like from the moment that she wakes up, like what are the things that I need for feeding, diaper changes, getting dressed, all of those things, play. And then I'm also packing everything that I would need for bedtime. So I'll show you guys what I have here. <laughs> We have her sleep sack, all of my like breastfeeding and pumping stuff, as well as breast milk storage bag. So I can put that in the freezer if I need to while we're there. Um, a Solly baby wrap for kind of walking around. I have, f I think five, four or five pairs of like pajamas that I could use and kind of wash as needed. Um, and then the rest of this clothing here is just outfits and things like that. Um, but I'm also essentially bringing 14 outfits, which seems like a lot, but because of blowouts and things like that, which she has been having a lot of recently, I want to have backups of all of that. So we've got 14 outfits and then Jared and I stuff will go here. She's like got the monopoly on most of the suitcase. And then I'm also just bringing a bunch of different books because her Nana will be there and she loves to read to her. So I wanna have enough for that. And then over here, we have the Baby Bjorn Travel Crib, which we really like. We've used it a couple times now. And then there is like the crib itself, the mattress cover and the outlet baby monitor. And then I'm bringing the Angel Care bathtub because it's the easiest and smallest to transport. In the diaper bag, I have like more diapers, kind of like the accessory type things, lotions, nail clippers, vitamin D drops. Um, I, I will also put her kind of sleep stuff in there. So the hatch monitor and her bunny. A travel hack that I found is just filling up some of these smaller um, bottles with like baby shampoo and stuff like that so we don't have to bring the whole bottle while we're away. And then because a week is a long time in the top of this pouch we have the mother load of diapers and wipes. So this might be overkill but I've got 
all my Pampers Pure size twos and wipes so that we do not have any moments where we are diaperless. So we'd rather be safe than sorry on that front. So we just got to the pumpkin patch, it's called Fall Harvest Farm, and it is like the most magical thing I have ever seen. The camera's focusing still, but look at this. Like, I, and it's raining a little bit right now, which is kind of a bummer, but it just is setting the fall vibe even more. It's the most magical place ever, hey girl. Okay. We got some desserts, some tarts, cinnamon buns, and a pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving dinner. And then all of these little cute pumpkins here. I thought these would be fun for Vivian to play with, so I got her a couple of those and some sunflowers. Cottage, okay, Max, just relax. Every single time I try and film, Max keeps like shoving his entire face hey, in buddy, the buddy. lens. Just relax, pal, it's okay. We are now en route to the cottage. When we get another like strip of the trees being like so beautiful, I'll turn the camera again. I've just been saying like to Jared a second ago that I keep like pulling out my phone and trying to record it because it's like so beautiful, but it doesn't do it justice. Like trying to get it on a camera, you kind of just like have to see it in real life, but it's so beautiful up here. <laughs> Thank you, Max, for coming back into the frame again. We're just driving up here now. Um, we left a little bit later than we wanted to after the pumpkin patch and had some good <laughs> heated conversation <laughs> surrounding that. It was good though. We're getting used to like having so many things to pack every single time we leave the house and I feel like I'm also going to include you in this because <laughs> you're sitting in the car. Um, yeah, we're just getting used to having like so much stuff to get done before we leave. Like before, it's literally just two of you, you get in the car, like Max was the only thing we needed to pack, but now it's like so much stuff to think about. So we were like two or three hours late getting yeah. on the road, but it's been good. We've been having good conversations. I feel like that's pretty like normal for family yeah, and stuff. Yeah, it's not, not terrible. It just because it's been us. Yeah, now that I'm back in focus. Um, okay, so while we're driving, I wanted to give you guys not like life updates as much as I guess just like Vivian life updates because I feel like my last few videos have been more of just like like tips and tricks and like practical like advice things but there's just been so much going on behind the scenes I don't know if you guys noticed but I ended up I think there were two weeks that I took off not consecutively but like over the last two months just like two full weeks that I didn't post anything because there was just so much going on like for us personally, between like September and like church relaunching, which I've talked about a little bit here, but then also the four month sleep regression, which was really, really fun. And we don't even know 100% if we're even out of it yet. Um, again, I think I mentioned it. No, I haven't mentioned it in this vlog, but Vivian's gonna be four months next week. So she started her four month sleep regression early and a lot of people have told me it's common for it to actually fall between like three, three and four months and that was the case for her. So basically it was awful <laughs> for like, how many weeks have you, would you say that it was not good? Like probably almost a month now that yeah. we've been like going through it. It was really bad. It started to get bad the first week. It was really yeah. bad for two weeks. I feel like, like there was dark weeks. Yeah, like and then, across the board. <laughs> yeah, because you were also struggling with like, yes, recipe supply stuff, which I've talked about a little bit on Instagram. And I think at some point on YouTube, I will do like a full like breastfeeding journey type video because it's too much to get into just like in a one-off vlog. But I feel like a lot of the stuff that was like a struggle happened kind of all at once as struggles usually do. And like it was just like it was a very different struggle than it was even in the newborn stage for us because like I keep saying to my friends and stuff like in the newborn stage 
it's hard to adjust to that and it's hard to adjust to like the lack of sleep and like baby waking up in the night but it's so different because like there's a grace that you have for yourself and a grace that other people have for you knowing that it's the newborn stage and it's not to say that that's fully gone when you hit like four months but it's a different type of situation people just aren't like as aware that you're going through a hard season when you have a baby yeah. everyone's like oh my gosh there's so much change in your life will surround you and support you but then like it's way harder four months in and nobody's exactly. really thinking about you four yeah. months in. Well, I mean, they are. Like, that sounds like... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Yeah. But, but no one's, like, popping meal trains together exactly. for the four-month sleep regression. Like, there's, there's people aren't, like... There's not a meal train dropping off at your house anymore. Like, typically your family, if they were coming to stay or visit or whatever, are not there anymore. Like, either... If you live in America, I know a lot of you, like, go back to work and are fully functioning, like, back in the office at four months. Like, like, you guys that. are heroes. I don't yeah. know how the heck you are doing that, but wow. God bless you. But, like, a lot of, like, most of the time, like, your spouse or partner has gone back or whatever. And so, it's just different. And, like, also, your baby typically has a routine at that point. And so, like they're waking up at 7 a.m. Yeah. and you're starting your day and like for better or for worse you now have a day that you got to do whereas when they're a newborn like you can sleep when they sleep and it's just more chill so that was hard for us to like adjust to that lack of sleep and like the supply stuff like all kind of at once yeah so I did and take people just not understanding as yeah. well like what you're going through and we didn't understand it with other parents until we went through it yeah but like we had a couple friends watch Vivian one night while we went out for dinner and then my sister watched her the other night and both of them afterwards were like oh my gosh we had no idea like how much they wake up and yeah like, how much attention you have to give them and like how taxing that is yeah and we have a new level of like empathy for what you're going through but a lot of times unless you're in like a community of other parents people just don't don't know yes that. yeah yeah so i mean like all this to say like it's not to just throw like a big pity party in of like four months sucks like this is the worst because it's not like she's great i feel like it's just been like a growing and adjusting season for us like in so many different ways of like each of us as people individually and like in our marriage and like what this looks like to like just lean on people even more and like lean on God even more throughout all of this but I feel like we are more so coming to the other side of it now hopefully yeah I, every single time I say that I'm like knock on wood you never know yeah you never do know and the other thing is like you can always have hard nights like whether or not you're in the four months yeah. safe regression or not um, it's just kind of more so like the mental state that you choose to take on the next day, which I feel like is now more so what we're trying to do of just like continuing to be positive and continuing to like be happy because Toxic it's positive <laughs> in our house all the time. Everything's fine. Everything is okay. <laughs> but it is like there is something to be said about like just choosing to like have a good perspective on things because yeah. like this time with like having a new baby is so short and like your problems change season to season like she's gonna get older but then like the problems we'll have when she's older are gonna be different than the problems we have today and I'm sure like some days we'll want to come back to today's problem yeah, yeah. and like you add more kids into that and then it's like oh gosh like now it's 10 times harder so well, it's was, just like I was talking to somebody at church and they were like they're like an older parent and I was like they're like how's it going with baby and I'm like oh we're just like up a lot in the night because she's up a lot in the night and they're like well, just wait till they're teenagers. You're it's up always a lot the just wait. I know. <laughs> just wait. Just you wait. Don't tell but people put, to just wait. Yeah, it's not a good <laughs> advice. But this was interesting because he's like, that doesn't go away. I'm still up at night in their teens, but it's because I don't know where they are and I'm worried mm -hmm. about them. And I'm like, oh, I would much rather have right. her at the house and like rock her to sleep yeah. than be it's up just like worried about them. Yeah, exactly. So again, like just trying to keep a good, healthy perspective on it and enjoy this this time now. Cause I feel like we always, like as people can think like the next season is gonna be better than the one that we're in now and then regret it because we're like, oh, that time was actually the best and wish that you could get back to it. So we're just trying to like enjoy it each day as it comes and like easier said than done on the days that you've literally slept for like three <laughs> hours the night before. But yeah, like last night we probably only slept for like four, four or five hours not consecutively but here yeah. we are but we you, got, you're doing good you're not coffee in us so you're doing like the bulk of it i would say just with me still being in work like if i'm getting up once in the night you're probably getting up at least twice if not three times to my one so like you're you're doing a really good job with it you're and also doing a great job great i was telling jared in the car that he has been so great in it because like 
it would be really easy for him obviously to just be like you're on mat leave like you handle it but you have been very much like a teammate in it and like if I poke you like hey can you do this one or like you'll hear it and you'll have noticed that I have gone a couple times or, like I've gone once and so then you'll go and so we well, very much have been trying to do it like a team we have friends that are in like a different season of life where they have two or three kids and they're like you're gonna get there eventually like when you have two kids especially when you have three kids like you have to be up in the night with the other ones while the mom is up with the baby so right like yeah because I have that perspective and advice you might as well just start early. yeah yeah so that's what we're going through right now i feel like if there's any advice that i could give like not even practically on like sleep advice and all that stuff because i feel like that could be another video we don't need to do that here but it's just like prepare for that stuff because like you never know what things are going to throw you off course or like what things are going to be challenging for you like in the postpartum stage or like after having a baby but i feel like this is one of those ones that you can typically expect that you'll hit another new type of challenge around the three to four mark three to four month mark so like be kind to yourself be gracious to yourself i've heard that typically postpartum like depression and anxiety most often gets diagnosed at the three to four month mark because oh, yeah that's like when you hit the sleep, sleep regression stuff and you're like i can't believe we're not out of this yet where you're at with stuff exactly so all of that to say just be kind to yourself you're doing a good job i don't know who's watching this if you're like in a position right now where you just are like feeling so exhausted and just done with all of it but like you are doing like the most important job that has ever existed like you're raising a child you're leaving a, le a legacy you don't necessarily see the impact of all the things that you're going to be doing like in this child's life right now because it's like everything is so clouded and you're exhausted but just like keep fighting the good fight keep like just drinking your coffee the next day because everything's gonna be okay it won't be forever and like you will miss these moments someday so at least that's what we're trying to tell ourselves right now I, like the other night Vivian was up for like the third or fourth time and it was like 3 30 or 4 o'clock in the morning and I'm just like rocking her trying to not get angry in the middle of the night and then like I just realized while I'm holding her like oh like soon you're gonna be too big for me to rock you back to sleep and it's really nice that I get to do this right now and then you just kind of like perspective right and you just got to keep that attitude about it because again in eight months from now she's probably gonna be too big for me to rock back to sleep and I'm gonna be like oh remember those days so yeah every season has good stuff and every season has hard stuff just try to focus on the good stuff while it's here amen Good morning. We are here at the cottage, hanging out on Thanksgiving weekend. <laughs> what is this? Is it a leaf? <gasps> you want it? Can you hold it? No. <laughs> Jesus, I have a ball on my arm right now. There's too much going on, Mom. I'm here trying. you go. Oh, look at her. Look, look, <gasps> look at, her. at you. Look at that. Wow. With it being Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada, we've just been talking a lot about things that we're thankful for, especially Jared and I. And one of the things that I feel like we both just keep coming back to is honestly how big of a blessing it is to be able to just have this YouTube platform. As funny as that may sound, it has been a dream of mine, like quite literally for years now. I'm just thankful for you guys this Thanksgiving to know that all over the world there are people that are honestly just here for the ride and I feel like we're banding together a little bit in this crazy journey of motherhood all of that to say thank you guys for watching this video be sure to subscribe before you head out today we are on the road to 10k it's coming sooner than I think that I ever like thought or imagined it could but be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on more videos and vlogs like this and until next week's video I love you guys I'm praying for you guys and I will see you soon